hey guys, here are all of your quick fire questions for my favourite topic in chemistry, organic chemistry. Remember if you want a hard copy of all these questions, if you want to see all the pictures, then you can get all of this over in the free revision guide which is on my website. And I'm doing this every single topic, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. A hydrocarbon is a compound that only has hydrogen and carbon in it. What is crude oil made up from? This is made up from a mixture of different length hydrocarbons. What is the general formula for alkanes? They CnH2n plus 2. Methane is meth, so it has one carbon. Carbon makes four bonds. We just fill that in with hydrogens. Ethane has two carbons. Hydrogen has to make four bonds, so we just go around filling that in. Propane has three hydrogens and fill the rest three carbons sorry and fill the rest in with hydrogens butane one two three four carbons yeah we're really to know that when we get to A level there is actually a quicker way of drawing hydrocarbons um, why do we need to separate crude oil into fractions? Because each fraction has different properties and different properties are used for different things. Things that have a small chain length are going to have a low boiling point, and things that have a long chain length, large molecules, are going to have a high boiling point. Viscosity, things that are large are going to be very viscous. That means they're very, very hard to pour, very thick like honey. Flammability, things that are low, uh, small, are going to have a high flammability. The word equation for combustion, we have hydrocarbon plus oxygen leads to carbon dioxide plus water. Uh, why do we need to crack long hydrocarbons? Because the long ones aren't very useful but we have lots of them whereas the short ones are very useful and we don't have very many of them how do we test for alkenes? that is the bromine water test and if there are alkanes alkenes, sorry double bonds It will go from orange to colourless. And that wording there, colourless, is really, really important. The exam board will not accept clear, it has to be colourless. This next lot is for chemistry only. The general formula for alkenes is CN H2N. Unsaturated means it has double bonds.
Ethene. Eth means it has two carbons. Ene means it has a double bond. Hydrogen carbon needs to make four bonds. So we fill the rest up with hydrogen. Propene. One double bond. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Butene. But is four carbons, one, two, three, four, but we only need one double bond in there. Hydrogen again makes four bonds. Carbon makes four bonds. Hydrogen makes one bond. So we just need to fill up the rest, make sure that everything has the right number of bonds. Pentene, double bond, one, two, three, four, five. As I said earlier, when we get to A-level, there is a quicker, nicer way of drawing things because we're going to start labelling some really nasty, nasty things at A-level. Uh, the word equation for incomplete combustion hydrocarbon plus oxygen leads to a large number of things this time. We have Carbon dioxide, water, carbon monoxide, and carbon particles. What is the difference between incomplete and complete um, combustion? Complete combustion is with lots of oxygen, incomplete combustion is not a lot of oxygen. So it is the levels of oxygen. Describe the action of an alkene with halogen. This is going to be your bromine water test. Um, so it's going to take up the um, halogen and it's probably going to lead to a colour change. The reaction of an alkene with water, that is going to take up the water. This is one of the ways of producing alcohol. Describe the action of an alkene with hydrogen. This is hydrogenation or hardening. What is a functional group for an alcohol? Um, it has an OH group on it. So if we have methanol, we have one carbon. We have our OH group, and then we just need to fill the rest in with hydrogens. Propanol. Um, we're going to be three. And then fill the rest in with hydrogens. Let's do ethanol, which I missed. Two carbons. And butanol. One, two, three, four, O, H. One, two, three, four. You get really, really quick at drawing hydrogens if you do a lot of organic chemistry like I do. What is the main use of alcohol that is for drinking? What happens when it reacts with sodium? Um, that is going to be quite a violent reaction. Um, what happens when it reacts with oxygen? That is going to burn. When we react alcohol with an oxidising agent, it can turn into a number of things, including carboxylic acids. For fermentation, you need yeast, glucose, um, and it needs to be warm. Not too hot, but not too cold. The functional group for carboxylic acid looks like this. So methanoic acid, is our one um, carbon. The functional group and then hydrogen
methanoic acid, we have two carbons, our functional group, and then any space filled up with hydrogens. Propanoic acid, three carbons, our functional group, and then anything else filled up with hydrogens. Butanoic acid, one, two, three, four carbons, our functional group. And then everything else filled up with hydrogens. Ethanoic acid is a vinegar. Um, when it reacts with a carbonate, it's just an acid reacting with a carbonate, so it's going to fizz, let off a gas, and that gas is going to be carbon dioxide. Um, not a lot happens when a carboxylic acid reacts with water, but it is going to lose um, a hydrogen ion. When a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol, you are going to get an ester. Plus water. The ester that they like to talk about is ethyl ethanoate. Oops, too many carbons. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, ethyl ethanoate. Um, and then fill in the rest with hydrogens. A monomer is a small bit. A polymer is lots of small bits joined together. Polymerization is the joining together of small bits. Condensation polymerization is polymerization where a small molecule usually water is released. The structure of DNA is a double helix. How do DNA rate amino acids? We have three DNA bases make one amino acid. And I haven't left myself much space for this. But we have amino acid, we have our carboxylic acid group, our R group, which is going to be the various different things that change all the time, hydrogen down here, and then an amine over there.